Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the ultimate fishing boat and some of its capabilities. Let's get started. So we're going to start on the bow of the ship right here. So this is actually how you refill your shower. Yes, we do have a shower in this thing and a tank that you can refill. And there's an emergency escape hatch from the crew room down right there. And this is the bridge right here, the control center. And then we have some emergency equipment that will float up if we actually sink. Not that one specifically, but there's some over here that do. And then there's an emergency escape hatch for the engine right here. A whole bunch of ropes that you can anchor this thing down with. Fire extinguishers just in case. And then we have our main wench right here with two wenches over here. And then the main wench control so we have an out which will lower our fishing net right here into the water you have to be driving for that to actually work and then in will bring all the winches in so this is the main controller right here and it'll bring it in right above those tanks and in those tanks you will put the fish um the fishing dlc is not out yet if it ever will be out hopefully they are making that but then we have these winch controls right here so we have the middle one which is right there so it's just like separate controls for all the winches all right then up here we have two emergency light bulbs you'll have to disconnect by disconnecting both of those ropes and that's all you have to do it should float up um they're not really good at floating so i would not recommend using them in bad ways Weather. But then up here, we have two fishing rods that are not connected to the boat, so they will um, fly around and be careful with these. Then we have our exhaust pump right here to make us go faster. Our emergency helm, just in case we lose all hydraulic control, you can still steer it with this one up here. Then we have our transponder, radio, radar, and then our foghorn. All right, let's start on the interior. So let's open this door here. To turn on the lights, you're going to want to click that right there. All right, so this is the actual control area. You're going to want to turn on the displays right there, and that'll activate CCTV, LiDAR, radar, everything. All right, to start this thing, you're going to want to go in your seat right here. Click the ignition button. Engines are started. You can see your RPS right here. We're already on full throttle. We're going to put it down here. So RPS is right there, knots, and then we have an engine temperature in Celsius. You want that to stay below 115 or else it will explode. But then right here, we have some nav lights. I have to name those. I will do that. So nav lights right here. Those are the red and green lights on the front of your boat. And then we have the actual structure lights which will put up all the lights out here just in case it's like really dark out so these definitely do work it's very easy to see on the boat with those on but right here we have a lighter we can do it on a large mode a medium mode and a small mode it'll just make the monitor smaller and then we can like zoom in click in this and it'll zoom in like way closer to the ocean then right here we have like a little map radar thing um i don't think this actual like radar thing works it definitely doesn't so you can zoom out here it definitely looks cool though it looks like something you'd like actually see on a real ship but you can see the desert island right over here then we have radar and sonar right here so we're gonna activate radar and sonar so we this thing definitely does work. Radar and sonar works on this. And then you can actually click on the targets and see their mass um, sometimes. See like that. And then if it's a red dot, that means it is a megalodon or something. And then blue also means we're detecting it on sonar. And then also right over here, we have anchor. So starboard anchor down. We can lower our anchor that has like a hundred uh, meter length or something like that. And then we have a port side one, of course. And then on the anchor control, we have a rope length and same with the starboard anchor connected. So that'll tell us if it's connected to the bottom so you can stop lowering it. But then over here, we have our navigation system with four CCTVs, one on the bow the stern and then another one on the stern and then the engine room this person right here has access to the transponder emergency flares the weather radar and then a whole bunch of radio equipment we can talk in and change the radio frequency on this right here is an autopilot uh it does not work that's why it has no electric on it it probably will work in the future here though all right that's basically all the stuff right there then right here we have a map we can control the zoom by clicking that and then it'll say our coordinates so if you have to make a mayday call make sure you say those coordinates right there but let's go below the ship here all right there it is so this is the galley right here let's turn on the lights with that light right there and we're going to look in the front right here so let's turn on the lights and then the heaters right here you have to turn on the boiler so that's not going to work yet but we have four seats right here choose whatever one you want and then we have a fire extinguisher that's our shower pump right there with a nice painting and then right down here is the actual scuttle key right there so that'll sink this thing pretty slowly it is a realistic sink i can say that and then we have our washing machine right here oh yeah of course then a maintenance hatch that goes below the ship to access all bilge pumps and a whole bunch of ballast control stuff but then over here we have a bathroom of course and then it actually has a working shower there it is so we have a working shower all right great and then this will display how much water we actually have left which that is the thing that you can refill on the top of the boat so this is where we actually eat at so we have a whole bunch of seating over here with some heating fire extinguishers and the actual kitchen right here but not a whole bunch over here this is where it actually starts getting fun the engine room i put a whole bunch of work into this thing like literally this thing has so many buttons in it first thing you have here is your actual stabilizer control this will um tilt the boat to the left or the right if you turn it to the right this controls our active stabilizer at the bottom that is what it's trying to go at right there and then we're gonna put that back at zero and then we have our pitch control right here which also does work only for driving and then we have a whole bunch of ballast control so we can fill all of our ballast which will rise these white lines right here perfect and then we can also drain them so let's stop filling them and then we can click drain you're gonna want this front bow ballast to have a little bit of water in it so the front kind of sits lower because for some reason the front just kind of lifts up but then right here you have an alternator clutch which really only works if the engines are running so this will just enable the alternator right over here somewhere in the engine belt and then 
then we have a fire suppression system which will activate right now a whole bunch of fire suppression works on the generators and some of the batteries so really cool stuff all right so then we have a generator clutch this clutch is connected to a medium generator back here in this like utility room so right here this will put a lot of stress on the engine and it will slow it down but your electricity should stay stable so i'd put that at around like 45 maybe but then we have a fire suppression spray angle i still really don't know if that does anything it just increases the spray angle i mean it's kind of cool i don't know really how it works but then over here we have our little workshop area right here pretty cool and then we have a welder thing and then right here is our fire suppression pressure so let's turn on our fire suppression one more time and this will actually tell us how much pressure is going through it so pretty cool and then over here we have an emergency water pump which we can activate clicking that just in case fire suppression doesn't work you'll have to shoot the water this is a really high pressure cannon so don't be shooting it at anyone but then over here we have all of our breakers the green ones are the ones you're going to want to keep on no matter what they are very important the main breaker right here will cut off the power to everything including the stabilizer so you're going to see here that the ship will really start to lean when the stabilizers are off so we're going to turn that back on but we have a whole bunch of dials right there that's the main battery charge the emergency battery which we have right there which we can turn on and then the generator one which is that one right there it goes left to right so and then we have our second one right there over here we have a monitor which will say our battery we are running a little bit low right now okay that's probably not good and then right here we have our fuel polishing system so this is useful if there's water actually in our fuel tank this will take water out of the fuel tank same with anything else so if we turn this on right here it'll tell us our fuel pressure and then our contaminated fuel which will go in this tank and it'll actually pump it out of the boat through that fluid port right there so this is a working fuel polishing system then we have our two emergency generators back here or just general use generators you can turn these on whenever you want so to turn them on you're going to want to click that generator on and off right there connected to the main breaker and then also enable all these fuel valves you'll have to manually do this whenever you start these up so that'll actually create flow so that it's like air exhaust and fuel but as you can see the generator is on our battery starting to kind of charge here you're going to need both generators on to actually maintain a charge so we're going to turn both generators on enable both fuel tanks right here and we have some rps fuel pressure air pressure for both of the generators all right so both generators are on our electric will go to a stable um one perfect we're on max battery already these generators are really good let's go ahead and turn them on the high low mode so this will put it on really high mode it's gonna get loud in here oh yeah it'll start getting really loud it sounds like a real generator i have an audio engine mod on so it sounds a little bit different but make sure you connect connect to main breaker on both of the engines that's the only way you're gonna get a charge out of these and then there's a engine overheat override which will explode this thing if it actually overheats so be careful with that back here just like our little maintenance room we have some of the water cooling pumps a whole bunch of weird stuff in there but then over here we have our hydraulic pump so this is what we use to use all the wenches and actually steer this ship so make sure you keep that on because if we turn that off we have no steering now so this has to be above 1.5 or else we will lose all steering and wench controls so make sure you keep that on and keep this flow valve right here on also that'll go in like the negatives if you have that off but then we have the engineer seat right here which we he can sit down and maintain the engines with we have a fuel calculator right there fuel pressure engine rps engine temperature and alternator clutch whole bunch of controls right there and then on this side we have a fuel cutoff valve use this if the engine explodes uh that'll immediately turn off the engine in like two seconds the air and the exhaust one don't work immediately but right over here we have an exhaust pressure coolant three coolant two coolant one pressure so this is all pretty important stuff right here these should all be on basically the same level see as you can see they're pretty in sync but sometimes they aren't that's normally when issues start to happen but then over here this is all of our computer stuff so you're gonna want to keep this stuff like fully repaired no matter what if any of this is broken the ship's just not gonna work we have repair wenches all throughout this thing so there's one right here and then there's some over here for underwater and above water repairing but then actually in the engine room here we have another maintenance hatch which we can go down below this gives us access to our active stabilizer right here and then also gives us access to our scuttle button right there which will open that hatch and flood this thing with water but then to actually turn on the heating for this thing you're gonna want to activate this boiler here this will turn on all of the heaters and it'll activate our boiler and our water heater so there we go and now we can actually turn on the heaters and they will work so perfect don't leave it on the high mode it'll definitely overheat real quick now we're gonna go back up here to the bridge and actually start this thing start driving here so we can go full speed perfectly fine but do not leave it on full speed this thing will overheat and the engines will explode we don't have a engine overheat system where it actually stops the engine if it overheats we do not have that so make sure you just keep the throttle below 55 here um you can have it on 100 if you want just for a little bit but make sure you keep that number here um below 115 
so cruising you're gonna want on 55 percent so make sure it's trying to be at a, exactly 55 so our cruising speed is at around 17 knots this is actually the top speed of most fishing trawlers but um i want them to go faster so we can go around like 27 on this thing on full throttle which is awesome but for some reason if the engines do catch up on fire you can click this fire suppression right here it'll activate fire suppression in the engine room which i think i forgot to connect now there's still some water going out of it i think it's just kind of broken yeah you can clearly see fire suppression is on from the outside it's pretty insane in there but keep in mind that is seawater so you can leave that on for really as long as you want but then also down here we have the general alarm button which will activate our general alarm which is a pretty chaotic alarm but in the engine room it'll also show a flashing light we need to turn off fire suppression there we go so it's a flashing light just like that'll spin around be kind of chaotic like and then a general alarm uh indicator right there and then we have our bilge pumps right here which you can enable just in case you do think that there is water but that's basically the boat interior wise but i'm gonna show you guys the capability so this is me fully turning right starboard currently um that is actually our exhaust coming out of our right generator just if you guys are curious and that's our air filter on the top of that also this is fully right and we also have bow thrusters in here i forgot to mention so bow thrusters they are electric they'll use a whole bunch of electric so be careful with those and this right here on um, this red line is actually where we're facing so that is also pretty cool but let's go ahead and crank it up to max wave so we're gonna turn on max wave and why don't we make it a little bit stormy here this thing handles this thing like a boss it should not capsize unless you like full throttle and like completely drive this thing straight into a wave here we'll put it on 55 so this is max wind right here this thing can 100 be capable of withstanding this um even if you go farther out in the seas it should be able to handle it this thing stabilizers are just really good let's go ahead and crank it up to top speed here see how many knots we can actually get out of this thing so here we go starting to rev up there you go so you get around 27 ish knots on full speed so that is really fast for a fishing trawler with a net honestly that's crazy but why don't we completely stop this thing and actually activate the scuttle and i'm gonna show you guys kind of what it does all right so let's go down here go in the sleeping room we're gonna turn on our lights and then our heaters perfect and then we're gonna activate the key button there all right scuttle is on so this thing is filling up with water down in the engine room so it'll also start activating reverse backflow on some bilge pumps which will put water actually inside of our boat so let's go in this hatch here see what's going on in here so it'll start filling up with water from that hatch and then the water will start to slowly flood in from this also little hatch on the um, room over here and it'll start to go down straight from the bow but as you can see there's already water starting to pile up in the engine room not good and the stabilizer will kind of um start being bad like when the water starts filling in it's just not really capable for all that weight so it'll like really start shaking here it normally doesn't do that but sometimes it will only if we're filling up with water so yeah there's a whole bunch of water actually filling up in this thing you can open that door to flood it back there too but there's water actually starting to pile up in here oh gosh if we open this oh yep there's definitely water in there yeah so already you can visually see that this thing's going down you're gonna want it to normally be above the red paint and yeah i don't think we're above the red paint it's not looking too well for us and if you want to speed up this process like really fast you can open that emergency door up there that'll sink this thing like almost immediately so be careful with that same with any other door if it actually starts going underwater so we have another emergency door right there and then we have uh the main door right over there but the bow is currently dipping underwater let's kind of see what's going on down below the bow so yeah there's definitely oh a whole lot of water down here it's filling up pretty fast the windows are underwater the engine room isn't looking too good i mean it is fine in here but a whole bunch of water down here so be careful with this um you can also turn on the shower to speed up the process i guess yeah this is something you would not want to see as a captain oh this is just terrifying so it is sinking pretty realistically honestly i like this so you can see our floating garbage can right there that'll also stay on the surface kind of let the rescue people know where we actually sank at so it's pretty useful and there's one uh also on the top right there that's an emergency floaty um that'll also let them know so yep the water's about to go right over our windows here pretty creepy stuff going on water's starting to actually enter the engine room from the doors here captain's windows are completely underwater oh my gosh that's actually so creepy looking okay i think we might have to get out of this thing all right so we're outside right now i'm gonna start loading the life rafts this is definitely not something that should be happening guys totally right, so let's go load this life raft all you have to do is disconnect those ropes just like that you're gonna want to sit down in it do not stand up on it it will not float if you stand up on it but as you can tell i would definitely say that we're sinking i don't think you could really recover from this i mean maybe if you turn the scuttle button off and activate a bilge pumps honestly you could probably could if you did that but this thing is clearly going down it's gonna be at the bottom here in a little bit here we go water is starting to touch the light bulb let's see if we actually float up or if i'm too heavy one of the two and here we go oh it's trying to float me up there we go i think we're floating yep we're completely floating now oh gosh okay that thing is going down but as you can see our flotation devices are floating right over there right next to us so it's pretty easy to spot but now it'll start sinking much faster than it normally does so there it goes guys all of our intakes are about to go underwater so the generators and engines will not be ever running again oh gosh yep there it is going down our fishing net on the back right there but then if you wanted to of course you could hang out on the stern right here while it all 
also slowly goes down. But yep, there it goes. Oh gosh, it's completely underwater. It has completely sunk. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these light boats don't really float that well. You're gonna probably want to stay in them. But if we actually go in the seat here, it should try flipping over. So yep, there we go. It'll try flipping over and now we're upright. Perfect. But I'd say it has a pretty good sink to it. That'd be actually a pretty fun thing to test in an actual video. So let me know if we should do that, of course. But I'm probably gonna kind of wait to use this um fishing boat to see what this new DLC is. I really hope it's fishing. I have a feeling it's going to be, but we're gonna see. They're going to announce the DLC on like the 25th or 26th of August. That's just the announcement. So they're not gonna be releasing it that date. And then we're gonna have to wait for the release time and actually when it um is out but it is actually on workshop it is in the description of this video if you want to go check it out if you have stormworks make sure you guys go do that but make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye